In Linux systems, people are used to type in the df command, the, the df minus h, which would provide a list of all the available partitions in this system, with the total size of that partition and the available part of it, which is a percentage, and where it is mounted. I don't re know how is it similar in Windows, but this information is somewhere available there too. I just don't know which uh, tool in Windows would allow you to fetch this information. Now if I use this uh, same tool in Linux, I can type it, provide a name of one of the uh, partitions, one of the sort of disks, and then it will uh, print out the information about that disk. And if I don't provide the minus H, which stands for human readable, then it will just give me the information in 1K blocks. So this is a much harder to comprehend what this means, it's much easier to know 46 gigabyte, but uh, you can also work with these numbers if, you, if you're running the program then it's much better because these are, these are much more uh, specific, much more correct. So the same thing can be achieved from Perl and this module is a portable version of uh, this feature. So you can use it both on Linux, on Unix, and also on Windows. So you can use this module, it provides you with a function called DF Portable, and then you can use, uh, the, I'll get back to this later, you can call this function providing one of the disks, and in on Windows you would provide C double colon and then backslash here. And then this is the unit size, so we're providing the 1k units, as we saw earlier. This returns us a uh, scalar. Actually, this is a reference to a hash. And the way to fetch the data from it is to type in a row and then the name of the field. And this will allow you to get the information, and then we are printing out the information. So this is the total size, which is block the available size, the available to me size, so what I can use, and the percentage and, and so on. So let's see how it works. Uh, again, uh, this is how I run, and this is how I run the Perl script. So you can see that these numbers, well, they should com correspond these numbers, but uh, things are changing in the operating system. So let's run this again and see if they are corresponding now sort of, almost. What if I pr pr provide this this way? Right, so this is now, fa we, we were fast enough uh, calling the, the script and uh, the command uh, close enough, otherwise it will just, it's well, it, it can uh, write temporary files or on things like this, so it can't be the exact, it's not exactly the same if you're calling it separate times, as you can see also this information, so df itself is giving you different information as time passes. So this, you can see that now the two, the Perl script and the df command give the, the same information, so you can use this Perl script, or rather, well, you don't want to replace df, the command, but if you're writing a bigger application in which you need to fetch this data, then this can be useful module. Now, as you saw that we, in df, when you wanted to human readable thing, then, then you would provide minus h, and that would be giving it in gigabytes. That's basically the same as doing this. So, now the unit size here is 1k times 1k times 1k, so that's 1 gigabyte is the unit size, and that would give you the numbers, much bigger numbers, which are much less exact.